First, we've got breaking news. Local four cameras are the only ones rolling as a father charged with murder and sexual assault of his infant daughter is released. Just a few days ago, 22-year-old James Salt Marshall was arrested on those charges. Uh, you see him here. Well, remember this very emotional day in court. He was breaking down in the courtroom as the judge read the charges, including a charge of first-degree murder. Bond was set at $2 million cash surety. Well, yesterday, prosecutors requested that the bond be lowered, and that led to his release today. Coco McAvoy uh, spoke with him at length as he walked out. Coco? Yes, Devin and Sandra, James Salt Marshall had a lot to say about the charges he's facing. He says he would never sexually abuse his daughter, but he did reveal how she died that night. James Salt Marshall walks out of jail today with a GPS tether. Did the prosecutor make a big mistake here? Definitely. This after being charged with the most heinous of crimes, murder, child abuse, and sexual assault of his eight-month-old daughter. There was no physical damage to my child. I don't know why people would think I would do that and then call the police. That doesn't really make sense to me. So how did we get here? Prosecutor's office says they found evidence of sexual assault to the baby girl and allege Salt Marshall killed the baby by causing trauma to her head. That's a felony punishable by up to life in prison. Salt Marshall broke down in court saying he didn't do it. That's why on the news you see me crying frantically and acting, like, acting that way. Um, I was told that my daughter was deceased and then they charged me with three felonies. So what did happen to his daughter? My daughter suffocated in my arms while I was sleeping and while she was sleeping I woke up. I realized that my daughter was not breathing. The first thing I did was call the police. Salt Marshall says he can now mourn his daughter's death and he'll be back in court soon to sort out this terribly sad case. Hey, you getting through that, baby? I had to do my time. I had to, you know, damn near almost fight for my life in there, but uh, I'm out of here now, so everything should be good. And at 6 o'clock, you'll hear more from Salt Marshall as he goes in-depth about what happened that night, and you'll also hear from some of his friends and family. Reporting live this afternoon, I'm Coco McAvoy. Back to you. Uh, Coco, I think to a lot of us after watching that court appearance, we're surprised that he would find a way to get out. So what is the prosecutor's office saying now about the case? Yes, so I reached out to the prosecutor's office today and they did not want to do an interview about this. However, they did say that they need more time and more forensic evidence in this case, and that led to today. Interesting. All right, Coco.